as we proceed, allow me to introduce our esteemed guests who have kindly graced us with their presence today to pay tribute to the remarkable achievements of Nikola Tesla. And of course, today, we celebrate one of the greatest of all, Nikola Tesla. And this is the birthplace of hydroelectric energy. This is where it all happened, one of the most famous, iconic locations in the world, something we take for granted. And I do need to point out something not so obvious. When Nikola Tesla was doing his magic, creating alternating current, it was a time when people thought it was witchcraft converting water to electricity. We take it for granted today when we're in an operating room at midnight, when your cell phone works, when the satellites work, we take the sound system for granted. But at a time when he had a lot of people challenging him, he was brave, he was intelligent, and just like Boris, he was persistent. And because of that, today, we celebrate one of the great days, and I'm so proud, on behalf of the city of Niagara Falls, to welcome all of our Serbian family from all over the world. We are actually celebrating a birthday. Tomorrow will be the kind of day when Nikola Tesla was born. So this is a celebration of his birthday, and of course, the life and achievement he made. So on a way, on a way from Ottawa to, to Niagara Falls, we use cell phones to call each other and to check where we are with GPS and everything. And this is Wi-Fi. This is what he brought, actually, the idea and, and in, in, innovation that he made at the time, or like 100 and something years ago. So this is a beautiful thing. And this, this man really didn't care about money. And he was, he was weird at the time just because he didn't care about money. He just cared about science and cared about innovations and so And that's why he was not understood, which is quite normal for those who are not interested in money. But he brought, with all his inventions, he brought something new to the world. And all of us, we became rich people just because we have what we have now. We have life with all this amenity that can help us to live better in a better uh, situation. So I know a lot has been said about Nikola Tesla and the importance that he did from a technological perspective. His patents, which were responsible for the AC power that had allowed Canadian Niagara Power to exist. But you know what? The expansion of these days, these celebrations into an entire festival, what we're doing now is also having the ability to take this day and celebrate the Serbian community here in Niagara Falls, the celebration of its culture, its heritage, its contributions to our community, and how that has gone about and made Niagara the place everyone wants to come and visit. So thank you to Boris for starting that, and thank you all for celebrating and sharing your, your culture and your heritage with us. His story was an inspiration to so many, engineers, people of science, of course, many who loved many parts of his history and, of course, to the Serbian community because those who know Nikola Tesla and understood know his heritage as being of Serbian descent, as was mentioned. His father, in fact, was a Serbian Orthodox priest, and he was proud of his own roots and where he came from. And to Serbian communities across the world, it has always been a point of pride to know that one of the greatest and smartest minds who ever lived was of, in fact, Serbian descent. And so of the many stories that we've heard about Nikola Tesla, some say that when his lab was burned down, that there were many technologies that were lost to us. One, of course, there have been conspiracies that he, in fact, created things like even a time machine. Now, I'm not going to say that I believe that. In fact, maybe I wouldn't say I believe that until this very day. Because here I present to you Nikola Tesla, who will come and address you here at the inaugural International Nikola Tesla Day here in Ontario. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and especially the young minds of Canada. I stand before you today not only as a time traveler, but as a symbol of relentless pursuit and unwavering passion for innovation. You probably know the name of this car that I just arrived in, an homage to my visionary mind, the Tesla car. Yet, while this vehicle bears my name, I realize that there is still so much 
that remains unfamiliar to many. So allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Nikola Tesla. It's a huge honor to be included in this celebration. As you can see, I think that every year the celebration grows bigger and bigger, and I was very honored that they invited me to actually portray Tesla because before they didn't have this and I think it just adds a little more of a personal note to everything. People were very excited to see Tesla get out of a Tesla car and, and I just had a little girl congratulate me on inventing electricity because she can sleep at night with her light on. That was very cute. Niagara Falls is where Nikola um, did most of his research. So power plant is there and his most groundbreaking experiments were done here. So although he was working all over USA, uh, Niagara Falls is where he made his biggest mark. The lifetime was pretty iffy, a lot of struggles, a lot of um, just clashes with People, I think that marketing wasn't the strongest point, uh, but the inventions speak for themselves. And after uh, so much time, I think that Nikola is remembered as, as an inventor, as a huge name in, in the world, and rightly so. I think that Nikola was very aware of the boundless possibilities that his inventions are going towards. I think that he might have not predict, predicted everything that happened, but I think that he wouldn't be surprised where we are today. I think that he would be very much on point with, yep, yeah, I can see that happening. And I think that, uh, I feel that there's a lot of inventors who thrive on actually being ahead of their time. So I'm sure that even today we have inventors who are going to talk about something that is going to be possibility in a hundred years. He was a visionary and there's, I think that that's the biggest point about not just him, but most, the best inventors.